Hello everybody, Peptide Buddy here. I hope everyone's doing well. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about tesamorelin and specifically diving into its role in fat loss. So more plates, more dates, if you haven't heard of him and or if you're living under a rock, has an awesome YouTube channel where he dives into research uh, among testosterone, other pharmaceutical compounds, and kind of their roles physiologically, anecdotally, and um, has a lot of great information that he discusses. So in his video about his TRT protocol, where he dives into not only the compounds that he's using currently, but also ones he thinks have promise and that he might use into the future, he discusses that his clinic, Merrick Health, has raved about positive anecdotal results in tesamorelin, and specifically how patients utilizing the clinic have had good results with fat loss. So naturally, I decided to look into it a little bit further. And as someone who loves to dive into research about health optimization, I myself really respect Eric's research and channel, and I figured this would be a cool topic. So please remember to like and subscribe for more similar videos. Okay, so why would patients have improved body composition with tesamorelin? So as a compound initially studied for improving lipodystrophy in HIV patients, Tesamorelin and its role in body composition have been studied together. So let's dive a little deeper through the role of growth hormone, releasing hormone, and fat loss. So as a synthetic GHRH, or growth hormone, releasing hormone analog, tesamorelin stimulates secretion of GHRH from the hypothalamus, which in turn should increase the body's own or physiologic production of growth hormone from the pituitary, and IGF-1 from the liver. And so we're starting to see a theme in how many of these popular peptides work because most of them, especially in this space, uh, play a role in this kind of growth hormone, releasing hormone to IGF-1 somewhere within that downstream cycle. So among a myriad of implications, a popular role of GHRH is downstream um, you know, turning into IGF-1 essentially is improved body composition. And research has shown the efficacy of tesamorelin in doing so in patients with HIV who are clinically suffering from increased visceral and subcutaneous adiposity, or fat, essentially, uh, aka lipodystrophy. And while research hasn't deemed its effects as clinically significant in healthy people, mechanistically and anecdotally, it can make sense. So overall successful outcomes in patients with HIV does not equate to clinically significant research in people without it. However, mechanism and anecdote shouldn't be ignored. The fact that Merrick Health has successfully utilized tesamorelin in many patients really can't be ignored. Um, and yes, there's definitely implications for further research, and as somebody interested in, in research and kind of saying the scientifically accurate thing, I can't say, okay, definitely 100%, everyone should take tesamorelin, everyone will lose fat, everyone will gain muscle, everyone will look great. But it's definitely important that in 2010, tesamorelin was FDA approved uh, as a compound called egrifta, and has been shown successfully in different research to reduce visceral and or subcutaneous fat in HIV patients. And so, you know, as the bottom line of this, this keynote says, successful outcomes in patients with HIV doesn't equate to clinically significant research in people without it. Mechanism and anecdote shouldn't be ignored, and I'm really excited for further research on tesamoral and, and Am I surprised that Derek's clinic has had success with utilizing the compound in patients who might have a less than ideal body fat composition? No, I'm not. And so there's so much cool research in this space so far. FDA approved compounds definitely going to be explored further and I'm looking forward to it. So thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Link to Derek's channel. Derek's channel and this video um, on his TRT protocol will be below in the description. So I appreciate it. Have a great day.